Today is uh, April 17th, 2011. The time is 1.16... 1... 1... 1.16 in the afternoon. As can be seen by on the uh, display of this, uh, this phone. Uh, it says Verizon Wireless and uh, showing the time again and the date of today. We are uh, here on Route 78, uh, heading westbound, uh, right at the, um, the on-ramp uh, from Route 24. With me is uh, Chris Lito. Mm -hmm. Hello. And uh, I am uh, John Lee, and we are shooting this video to document the the signal coverage of the uh, T-Mobile cell phones uh, along this route uh, that's in question. And uh, here I am showing the uh, phone that we're going to be using today. It's a uh, Motorola Motorola cell phone. Uh, it's the model model number is V195, as can be seen on the top left of the uh, the white label. And uh, there is inserted a T-Mobile SIM card. I'm going to power up the uh, cell phone. And now the phone is powering up. And here you see the T-Mobile logo. You see the T-Mobile uh, being displayed also. The uh, time is not correct, or well, the date is not correct because uh, this phone is old and cannot be um, or can be manually changed. But this phone uh, was manufactured in 2006, so it's approximately five years old. And now, uh, just a quick check on the phone itself. You see uh, one, two, three, four. Five bars. Uh, if you want, uh, you want to confirm that, Chris. That's correct. Okay. All right. So now we're going to proceed on uh, Route 78 here. So again, uh, all right. It's not glare actually. Too much glare. Yeah. Maybe you need to just hold it. Yeah. Just hold it down. All right. So again, let's see if I can adjust the uh, the brightness here. Difficult reading the screen. Not quite, uh, no, no, it's um, it's here fairly well. Keep this uh, phone so we will display a call. Now here we go. Here's the contrast. Okay, there we go. Much better. All right, so I've adjusted the phone so the uh, display is uh, much easier to see here. All right. Now, uh, just to uh, confirm that this is a fully functional T-Mobile phone, I will call my, uh, my other cell phone. Should be this phone that should be ringing soon. Mm 
as you can see, this phone is ringing now. brightness on here. Okay, now uh, I'm going to call back the cell phone in question and then to also uh, confirm that it does uh, work both ways. Actually, that's not even... showing the phone is uh, receiving call and again we're getting uh, one two three four bars now five bars now okay now we're gonna proceed here okay. now we are approaching four right on the left hand side and just go uh, not too fast so we can show the signs and here is the uh, the compost area on Route 78 for the Union County. And here we go. And we just passed a sign that showed uh, we are on Route 78 westbound. And uh, again, here is the phone. Quick check again. Uh, one, two, three, four bars right now. The sign just slow the next uh, mile marker. So you are proceeding on uh, 78. We are now approaching mile marker. Just, uh, just slow down. You have to slow down. I won't stop at the mile markers okay. so we can actually uh, right, get down the shot. Uh, mile marker number 48 on uh, Route 78 westbound. And again, quick check on the, uh, the signal coverage. We have uh, again T Mobile, we have one, two, three, four, five bars, four bars. Okay, okay we're going to proceed. Five bars here, and uh, let's slow down. We'll show that road sign on the bridge up there. Okay, that sign right there. Now we're approaching an overpass that is going to be. Uh, we're going to see the uh, the road sign soon. Slow down here. And this road sign says it says a uh, Bautista Road, uh, Route 648. 643. Oh, 643. I'm sorry. County route. Oh, County Route 643, okay. Alright, so again we proceed on to Route 78 westbound. And here we are on the phone again. We have one, two, three, four, five bars. And this phone, the maximum number of bars is five bars, so now we should be, uh, this should be considered excellent coverage, or the maximum coverage possible. Going down a little bit of a downhill here, and then now we're gonna uh, approach another overpass. This should be uh, this should be Glenside Avenue that we're approaching. Correct. And again, on the uh, phone itself, uh, we're getting one, two, three, four, five bars, and just slow down. Let me just get a shot of Glenside Avenue. See. It? Okay. Uh, if you got that. And then just uh, show the mile marker here. And now we're approaching mile marker number f a little bit more. 
Mile well, marker number uh, 46.7. Okay, we're gonna proceed. And we still have on the, our cell phone here the T-Mobile signal, one, two, three, four, five bars, the uh, maximum number of uh, bars possible on this phone. I'm going to show the, uh, the signal display again on the cell phone as we proceed and on the uh, speedometer you can, you can uh, see that we are at 60, approximately 60 miles an hour and the phone is giving 5 bars. Next exit sign, we'll just slow down and show the exit sign. Give an approximate location. I think that's where we're going to do our turnaround. Okay. I think we're out of the area in question. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, we're just, uh, still proceeding along Route 78 West, and here we go. Here's a sign that says entering Berkeley Heights. That's where we're going to turn around now. Okay. On the phone again. Shows that we have a T-Mobile. We have one, two, three, four bars, which is still considered very good. And now we are approaching. Uh, this is exit 43. Says New Providence, Berkeley Heights, one mile. So we've been consistently getting four to five bars this whole time since we uh, started this uh, recording. And now we're approaching the exit 43 now. Uh, New Providence, Berkeley has exit. This should be for Diamond Hill 